Okay, so now what we're going to do is press the bearings off of the power shaft assembly. Um, there's actually two tapered roller bearings here with a bearing cup in the housing um, and also one in the rock shaft housing. In this case, uh, your best bet, of course, is to use a hydraulic press and you actually press the shaft down through the bearing and the gear. Notice right here I took some emery cloth and cleaned up the surface. It always helps everything slide through the bearing and the gear. Notice what I'm doing. I am pressing the gear and the bearing down part of the way, but I'm not going to press it all the way off the shaft. And the reason for this is I'm actually going to flip it over and press the gear back in its original spot. Then I can get a, a bearing splitter between the gear and the bearing and pull the bearing the rest of the way off. Uh, because really there's no need to remove the gear from the shaft. It just makes things a little bit easier. 